Hey everyone, it's Ashley from Books from What to Basically Amazing, and I'm going to vlog today. And it's the first time that I've done this, and so it might be a little bit awkward, and I apologize for that. But anyway, we're gonna try it anyway. So, um, this vlog is about the random acts of kindness that Books Soul Book Soulmates has started on their blog, where you just, you know, you sign up to receive and to give books as gifts to random bloggers around the blogosphere. And I feel bad because I've been participating in it since February is when I think they started it and I've gotten quite a few books and I've sent out some stuff but I haven't actually posted about it yet on my blog which I feel bad about because you know I haven't publicly thanked the people who sent me books and haven't you know talked about it spread the word and stuff so I'm doing that today and I will try to be better in the future so I have a stack of books that I've gotten sent as gifts since this started and so I'm going to start with these two right here because I feel really bad about these books because I love these books. I had read this one, It's a Certain Slant of Light by Laura Whitcomb, and this one is Going Too Far by Jennifer Eccles. And I'd read this book before and I loved it. It was one of those books that I opened it expecting to like read a couple pages to see if I wanted to take it to work with me the next day. And it turned into a one more page, one more page, one more chapter, gotta finish this chapter. Okay, one more chapter. Um, okay, one or two more chapters, 10 more minutes, and then I finished the book and it was really, really late and I still didn't have a book to take with me to work the next day. So I was really excited when I opened the package and saw this book in there. And this book was in there also, which made it even better because I have been wanting to read this book for forever because so many of my friends on like Twitter and different blogs just rave about this book. So I was really excited and I've read it and it was great and it was a good read and just what I wanted at the time. But so the reason that I feel really bad about these is because I don't remember who sent them to me and so I feel really bad and I apologize if you were the person who sent these to me because I love you and I'm a horrible friend and I'm a horrible person and whatever and all that stuff because I've searched through my entire inbox I've looked around on Twitter and I cannot find any mention of the person who sent these to me even though I know I sent a thank you back so it must have somehow gotten deleted in my email and so I don't know who you are so I'm really really sorry and if it was you that sent these to me I love you and you should tell me so that I can thank you for real and I will correct that as soon as I know so those are those two, which were yay, but now I feel bad. And then also, this one isn't technically a random act of kindness, but it came from Ginger at G Reads. And if any of you read her blog or follow her on Twitter, you know that she absolutely, absolutely loves the Summer I Turn Pretty series by Jenny Han. And we were talking about them on Twitter one day, and I mentioned that it's not really my kind of book. And so she sent me a copy because she was like, you have to read this book. So here, I'm going to make it easy for you. And I have read it and I'm, I'm interested to see where the rest of the series goes. It wasn't what I was expecting and I enjoyed it, but I'm definitely interested to see what the next two books do. So thank you very much, Ginger. And then one of my, f I met her first on Goodreads and then I found her on Twitter and then I found her blog. Or maybe I found, I don't know. Anyway, um, it, her Twitter name is Vampire Easter, her name's Jennifer and she blogs at, um, carbohydrates and conjugations or conjugations and carbohydrates I'll have to double check on that I'll link it correctly below but we were talking about favorite books from childhood and she has always really liked mermaid stories and so we were talking about this book the mermaid summer by Molly Hunter and she said that she just loved this book when she was a kid and when she found out that I hadn't read it because it's out of print she wanted to make sure I got a chance to read it so she sent it to me so thank you Jennifer that was very nice of you and then Liz at consumed by books sent me um, a copy of this book because she loves it and I love it and it's one that I wish that I had had a chance to spotlight during Fairy Tale Fortnite but didn't get to and it's Briar Rose by Jane Yolen and it's an amazing amazing book it's a retelling of Sleeping Beauty set during the Holocaust and it's just oh it's a powerful book it's one that really sticks with you and highly recommended so thank you Liz I am um, freaked out a little bit when I opened this package. My friend was with me when I got it and she can attest because I had a little bit of a fangirl spaz moment. So <laughs> that was exciting. And then Missy at Two Reader Reviews was talking on Twitter about Sarah Dessen and how she accidentally purchased two copies of Just Listen. And it was one of the few that I didn't already have and we were talking about it. And so she offered to send it to me. And that's just a little note that she sent with it. So thank you very much, Missy. I'm very excited about this book. I think I have all of them now except for A Long for the Ride, and that one should be on its way to me. So that's very exciting. Thank you. And then um, Lily at Read My Mind sent me an arc of Matched by Ali Condi. And I'd already read this book 
And right after, or right before I got this one in the mail, I think I purchased a hardcover of it because Allie was having a signing in Salt Lake, which is close enough, well, no, in Logan, which is fairly close to where I live, so my cousin and I went down. So I was really excited because it meant that I got both an ARC and a hardcover signed, and I was really excited because the ARC has the really pretty shiny cover. I don't even know if you can see it. But it like shimmers, there you go, kind of a little bit maybe. It like shimmer sparkles and the hardcover doesn't do that. So I was really excited because I liked this book and it's one of those just really pretty books that you're like, yay, and you get happy inside every time you see it. And then Sniffly Kitties Mostly Books sent me a hardcover copy of The Forests of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan, which I was really excited about. I think it's still the only zombie book I've ever read. I haven't read the other books in the series yet. But I liked it so much. I was so surprised by how much I liked this book. So when I got a copy of this in the mail, it was another one of those hooray moments. And I was really excited. So I'm going to make it a priority to get the next two books in the series and give those a read. And then the last one that I have is um, a gift from Alexa at Pages of Forbidden Love. And she sent me this back, I think, in February. And it's Paranormalcy by Kirsten White. And I just, I love this book. I'm not big on paranormal. I try every so often I'll go through a phase where I try and read a whole bunch of paranormal and they just don't do it for me. I always, almost always end up really disappointed in the books. But this is one that I recommend to everybody. Lovers of paranormal, haters of it, everybody. I think that it's a great book. I love, love, love this book. It's definitely a good book for people who aren't normally into paranormal um, fiction and Kirsten White is just hilarious and this is one of the funnest books that I've read in a long time so that's what I've gotten thus far for Random Acts of Kindness and I will try and be better updated in the future so it's not quite this big long to do but that's what I got so I can't wait to keep going with it I have a bunch of books ready to be sent out to other people and so now I have to go run through the the ginormous list of signups and see if people are looking for the books that I've got so can't wait for more and 